You know what gets on my nerves? The fact that Christians talk about LGBT issues so much and they say, oh man, it's a sin and you can't be doing stuff like that and that's not Christian. And yet Jesus didn't say anything about the LGBTQ community. So it's like, why are you guys so obsessed with something that Jesus didn't even think to mention? Look, it's not a bad question. Let's talk about it. To the studio. So in that video, I literally said, show me in the teachings of Jesus where he condemns same-sex relations. Do not cite the Old Testament and do not cite the writings of Paul. Nevertheless, despite my instructions, that did not stop people from quoting Leviticus 20 and 21 and Romans. Okay, so this is interesting, right? That there's this big idea out there that if Jesus didn't say something specifically, therefore, why are Christians like getting so uppity about it? After all, it's like, aren't you following Jesus? Like, you're not following Paul. You're not following the God of the Old Testament. He's a big meanie. We don't follow him. You just follow Jesus. And some Christians have this mentality, right? You call them red letter Christians. They'll only follow Jesus. Or they even, you know, push out the term Christian and instead call themselves Jesus followers and they only really focus on what Jesus specifically said. But it comes out from a misunderstanding of who God is. Jesus claimed to be God, one part of the Trinity, three persons, you know, Father, Son, and Holy Spirit, and yet one God. It's not like the God of the Old Testament is like this mean, you know, old guy, and he's like, don't do all that stuff, kids, that's bad. And Jesus came as some sort of hippie revolutionary and being like, you have heard it said of old, all this other stuff, I don't care about that anymore, just do this. It's like, that's not what happened. The moral law of God was not erased with the new covenant. No, Jesus said, I have not come to abolish the law, but to fulfill the law. So his idea was not, okay, look, I said a lot of this stuff was bad, and now you can just do whatever you want. Jesus gave his disciples clear instructions on how to pay their taxes and practice the Sabbath law, but nothing about same-sex relations. Clearly, that was not very high on his priority list. So the challenge remains open. The thing with God is his morality doesn't change, right? Murder is always wrong. Adultery is always wrong. And so when he, Jesus came, he was like, hey, look at these moral teachings that you've always believed. Well, I'm actually going to bring it to the heart level. And this is something that we all need to be aware of. Instead of saying, oh, look, I don't think uh, this is a sin or Jesus didn't really talk about this. So he kind of whispered about this stuff or, you know, it's like, no, like we actually need to take all of God's words seriously and not try to insert our own like speculations about, well, I guess Jesus only mentioned this once, so it probably is okay if I do it. It's like, no, guys, like, no, why would we want to go against what God has commanded us to do? For this fellow, and I know I've reacted to one of his videos before, he's kind of prolific on TikTok about making videos about Jesus, and he's a deconstructionist, ex ex-evangelical, whatever else. Um, you know, I'm, my hope for this man is that he would find Christ, and that he would turn to Christ in repentance, and not pride and justice justification of his sin. And that's my hope for all of us, including myself, that I wouldn't try to stand on my high horse saying to God, no, you know what, this isn't a big deal, but rather, God, I submit this to you. I'm sorry. I confess this to you. God, make in me a new and clean heart and make me right with you.